bilang bata na lumaki during the 90s, talagang during that time, sikat na sikat itong cake na to. Para bang in every occasion and ang mga home bakers na kilala ko, lahat gubagawa ng ganitong cake. Ano ba to? This is the very popular pineapple upside down cake. So ngayon, gumawa tayo ng version nito na mas simple, pero pag nakita nyo mamaya, mas sophisticated. This is very, very simple. So first, gawin muna natin yung pinaka-base. So, magkakaramelize lang tayo ng konting asukal. Mga 2 to 3 tablespoons. Lagay mo lang dyan sa pan mo. I'm using an 8-inch round pan. One recipe will make you two cakes. Kung isang cake lang ang gusto mo, ikat mo na lang yung recipe by half. So, tutunawin mo lang yan, ikakaramelize mo lang. And then I have here pineapple chunks. Before, ang ginagamit nila yung bilog-bilog na pineapples, yung slices. And they even put cherries. Pero ngayon, mas simple, mas straightforward tong version na to. Talagang puro pinya lang ang ilalagay natin. And mamaya, wait until matapos tong video because meron akong surprise na ilalagay sa ibabaw para mas glossy and mas malasa itong ating pineapple upside down cake. Alright, so yan. Nakikita mo, di ba? Medyo nagkakaramelize. Parang kulang pa sa sugar tong isa. Dagdagan ko lang ng konting sugar. Eto, sa akin okay na tong ganito. Pag naging amber in color, okay na. You don't want it to, to become very dark brown kasi nagiging bitter. Okay, that's it. You don't want it to become bitter. Pinakaayaw ko sa lahat yung bitter. Ganda-ganda ng buhay, tapos nagpapaka-bitter. Alright, now, you just let it set there. Pag medyo lumamig-lamig, that's the only time ilalagay natin yung pinya. Kasi baka naman masunog, no? So now, hintayin natin lumamig ng konti yan. Punta na tayo sa ating mixer. You can also use a hand mixer, by the way. I'm going to put my butter. Ikri-cream ko yung aking butter and sugar together. So, I'm using two types of sugar. White sugar and brown sugar. Bakit dalawang klase? I like the flavor and the color and the aroma of the brown sugar. Makikita mo yung difference. Yung parabang yung cake mo is very rustic. Kasi ang pineapple upside down cake, You don't put any icing, hindi ka naglalagay ng mga palamute. Siya na mismo yun. And when I hear pineapple upside down cake, homemade and rustic yung unang pumapasok sa isip ko. Kaya nilagyan ko ng brown sugar para mas colorful yung pinaka-cake mismo. Pwede mo din nga lagyan ng cinnamon, mga 1 teaspoon if you want. Okay, so you put the butter and sugar and then i-cream mo lang until light and fluffy, medium-low speed. Make sure to scrape the sides. Scrape mo yung sides and yung ilalim na mixing bowl para even ang pagkakahalo. And then, mix pa. Medyo matagal talaga to. This process normally would take 4 to 6 minutes. Huwag mong mamadaliin. Kasi napaka-importante ng pagkahalo ng butter and sugar kasi nagpapasok ka ng hangin. Ini-emulsify mo yung mixture para yung cake mo maging fluffy and pantay at maganda ang volume. So as you can see, nag-light and fluffy na yung ating mixture. nag na yung kulay niya and nagkahangin, naging fluffy. See? Naging fluffy na siya. So, eto, ready na siya niyang makuha yung itlog. So, pwede na natin ilagay yung mga itlog. But before that, 
you have to scrape the sides first. And then let's put the eggs one at a time. Okay, before I add the last egg, I'm going to scrape the sides of the mixing bowl. And then put the last egg. Alright, I'm going to turn off the mixer and ilalagay ko pa na muna yung pinya, munti ko nang makalimutan. So, ito yung ating pan. You just put the pineapples. Ano mo lang sa ilalim. By the way, no, we did not grease the pan. Wala tayong nilagay na kahit na ano sa pan. Hindi natin nilagyan ng butter, margarine, or kahit na ano. Yung caramel, pag natunaw ulit yan during baking, yan na yung pinaka tutulong para matanggal mo ng maayos yung cake from the pan. And the next, let's sift the dry ingredients. You can sift it kahit isang beses lang. I have here all-purpose flour, baking powder, and baking soda. I'm not putting any salt because... I'm using salted butter. But if you're using unsalted butter, please do put a pinch of salt. And this is just my homemade sour cream. Meron lang ako ditong cream and nalalagyan ko ng konting suka. Meron ka ng homemade sour cream. So, dito sa aking butter and egg mixture, butter, sugar, and egg, lalagyan ko ng harina. Put some flour. You mix. As you mix it, you put some sour cream. Installment po ang paglalagay. Para nahahalo nating mabuti. Huwag mong bibiglain ang paglalagay. Pa konti konti To make sure that you are mixing the batter properly. And then, scrape the sides. This is very important that you scrape the sides. Then repeat the same process. The flour and your cream mixture. This is going to be very moist. Okay, I'm going to scrape the sides again. Pati yung ilalim. Pati ito. Ba't kinakamay mo po? Nako, pupunta naman sa apoy yan. And then, this is a technique that I've learned in New York many years ago. Na pag gumagawa ng cake, yung last mixing mo from low, tignan mo mabuti ha. Ilalagay mo sa high speed. And then, ibalik mo sa low. That's it. Ang ginagawa daw po noon, binabasag niya kung meron mang mga air bubbles or may mga lumps na naiwan doon sa cake batter mo pag nilagay mo sa high speed. And then pag binalik mo sa low, parang minemelo daw niya yung cake batter. Sinasabi niya na, ready ka na. O oh, diba? So ready na natin siyang isa lang sa oven. Give it a final scrape. And then you just divide it between your pans. I just get a scraper. Okay, tinatansya ko kung pareho yung kanilang bigat. Mas mabigat ng konti to. Just get a scraper and you just... Alright, this goes into a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for around 75 to 90 minutes. Medyo matagal talaga ang baking time kasi medyo makapal yung cake and this is a heavy type of cake. So wag mong madalien. Again, 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven 
for around 75 to 90 minutes, no? So, let's bake it. Balikan natin mamaya. Okay, so ayan, na-bake na ang ating pineapple upside down cakes. Look how nicely brown, nainit-init pa po. Kalalabas lang po ng oven. Because this kind of cake, kailangan mo siyang tanggalin sa pan habang medyo mainit pa. Because you don't want the caramel, yung niluto natin kanina, to set. Pagka nag-set yun, didikit na po yung pin niya sa ilalim. So, ganito lang kasimple. You just want to loosen the sides a bit. Just to make sure na hindi siya talaga nanikit sa gilid. Kasi hindi nga natin nilagyan ng grease yung gilid ng pan. And then, maginate. Teka, ano ba to? Ayan. Kailangan kasi, pag kasi walang camera, mas madali. Pag may camera, syempre kailangan papoise ka habang binabaliktad mo. Okay, and then... Okay. Ay! May naiwang dalawa. Ganyan talaga. May ibalik mo din yan. Mm. Hindi po ba pandadaya yung ginawa nyo? Yung naiwang po, binalik nyo, hindi po pandaraya ito. This is just reality. Kasi talaga po may naiiwan dyan. Hindi nyo lang po nakikita. Okay. O, oh, ang ganda, di ba? Ang ganda. Ma ano masasabi mo? Do not bash. Ang ganda talaga. So proud. Oh, ito, may isa pa. Oh, may naiwan pa ding dalawa. Normal lang talaga yan. Pabalik mo yan. Okay. So, pwede na natin tikman ngayon to habang mainit. Pero ang gagawin ko, palalamigin ko muna siya sandali. Mas masarap siya actually. Ito ang katotohanan ha. Kahit umuusok-usok ngayon yan, mas masarap po ito pagka napalamig natin overnight. Yun ang totoo. So, ngayong nilagay na natin to dito sa, sa uh, cake board, what you will do is palamigin mo at room temperature, ilagay mo sa box or balutin mo ng plastic. Keep it inside the fridge overnight. Mas talagang kakapit yung pinakalasa ng pineapple and nung syrup na ginawa natin sa pinaka-cake. Magkakaroon ng marriage. And yung texture, ibang-iba. No? Pero ngayon, masarap na din yan. Pero papalamigin ko muna dito sa glit. Pag lumamig yan, pwede mong pahiran to ng konting honey para maging glossy yung ibabaw. I'm going to show you. So, if you want the top of your cake, itong pinakatap na mas glossy, there's a technique that you can do. Pwede mong pahiran yan ng honey. Pero para mas malasa, lalagyan ko ng konting melted butter. So, some melted butter. Ooh. Konting melted butter. And honey. Pwede ding pineapple jam. Kung gusto mo. You can also use pineapple jam. Just mix together. And then you dip it like that. You just brush. See? Pati yung sides ng cake, brushan mo. Okay. So, and the next step, papalamigin ko ito ng konti. And tikman natin. Actually, gagawa muna ako ng coffee para i-partner natin dito. O, oh, ba? Isn't it bongga? Bongga na kanina nung pinahira natin ng honey with butter. Mas naging bongga pa. So, balikan natin. So, ngayong lumamig-lamig na yung aking cake. Pwede ko na siyang hiwain. And we can now try it. Makagawa muna ng coffee. And hiwain na natin. Gusto ko tong medyo toasted na na part. Oh, ayan. Look. 
how nice and moist. Nakikita mo naman how nice and moist. Di ba? Very, very moist. Parang masarap may ice cream. <laughs> Di ba? O, oh, tignan mo naman. Oh. Okay, so now let's try. Mm. Mm. The perfect marriage of the pineapples and the cake. And lalo pa pag na irefian. Super duper good. Kahit yung cake lang actually, ang sarap talaga. At syempre, magkape tayo. Cheers! So, huwag ka na maghintay. Actually, mas ma... Ay, ayan tuloy. Ang dami ko sinasabi, napaso ako. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, mas maganda ako maghihintay ka overnight. Dahil mas masarap po siya kinabukasan. So, gumawa ka na ngayon. Pero masarap din naman siya ngayon. So, ba't mo pa... Ba't ko... Ba't ko ba ba kayo pipigilan? ba diba? Eh, masarap naman siya ngayon. Katulad nito, mainit-init. So, mag-enjoy ka na. Happy baking. Happy cooking. Happy eating. Happy everyday. I'll see you soon.